The most powerful man in Haiti is far from a politician. The gang leader known as Barbecue has been promising a civil war that would topple the government. It is a whole system that we want to destroy. We're not going to lie here. We're not in a peaceful revolution. We're making a bloody revolution in the country. Signs of that bloody revolution have emerged in the past two weeks. The gangs have burned down police stations, shut down the airport in a hail of bullets. Mom, everyone, if you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. To all of my sis stars and my bro stars out there, the Star Seeds United, allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light. And I receive yours, Abracadabra. For Haiti, for Haiti, I've been waiting for this download concerning, concerning Haiti. You know, um, it's been so many narratives out there. And I had to look at it with my magical eyes to see what was really going on. I had to see the truth through the lies. Yeah, all praises to the Most High. I've been waiting for this because I know Haiti has been going through hell. They've been going through hell for a while now. I remember, I think it was two years ago, you know, they sent in some mercenaries and they were just shooting people down in the streets. Yeah, some corrupt... Um, president was over there and stole a lot of money, pissed the people off. The people started protesting and was out in the street in their anger. Yeah, and they sent mercenaries in, uh, attacking the people. So what I see here in Haiti with my magical eyes is plain as day. Colonizers, colonizers, colonizers. They have been playing the same old game for thousands of years. And hey, if it's not broke, why fix it? <laughs> so they do the same thing over and over and over again. Like they're doing over there in Haiti. But there's something very, very special about Haiti. Some very special about Haiti. That's where the Levites are. Yeah, the priests. Our magic men. Yes. Our high priest and our priests practice magic. And for those of you who is afraid of this message, you may not want to go any further into this video. Because we practice magic here too. We're not afraid of it. And our holy mother who most people call the Holy Spirit, told us that we were in a great war about a year and a half ago, and it was magic against magic. So here at Star Seed United, yeah, we're going to go in for Haiti today at the courts of the Most High. We took Haiti to the courts of the Most High on a few occasions, uh, but we didn't have the whole focus on Haiti, you know. I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this download because I wanted to fight for Haiti. To an emergency meeting with Caribbean leaders on the crisis in Haiti. And of course that follows U.S. military evacuating some personnel from the U.S. Embassy in the capital of Port-au-Prince over the weekend. The European Union and Germany have also evacuated staff as gang violence escalates across that country. The U.S. military deploying additional security to Haiti. Since we've been at war for the last year and a half, we see some of the same characters pop up in ju Judgment News. Now, this is Anthony Stinkin' Blinken, the head of the president's cabinet. And he was one of the major, major faces that we've seen with the occupation over there in Gaza. That genocide, one of them that supported it and kept it going. 
until just recently, just recently. And now his focus is on Haiti. You know, they kind of like backing off of that war over there in, in Gaza. The whole world's energy was against them. It was killing their, the magic of their war. They needed the energy and they couldn't get it. Neither could they deceive the people with their propaganda. It's like all folding in. Yeah, now they talk about booting out Netanyahu, so we see where that war is kind of fizzling out. Yeah, and and uh, mother told me that when this war start fizzling, oh my goodness, judgment is gonna come on another level. Anyway, that war hasn't even stopped yet, and his ass is over there in Jamaica, where. The indigenous people of Jamaica can't even go to their own beaches unless they're working there. Most of them probably for minimum wage, living in poverty. That's the only way they can get to the beach <laughs> without being harassed. Yeah, and on their own land, you see. And Anthony Blinken is over in Jamaica talking to them over there about managing Haiti. They've been after Haiti for so damn long. So damn long they've been trying. Haiti is the last stronghold. Because no matter what they did, no matter how many battles they won, no matter how much colonization they have done, they have not been able to just take Haiti away from the Haitians. One of our star seed forefather heroes, Trussant Levature. I know I probably didn't say his name right, but he liberated Haiti. And did you know they had their own constitution? They had their own constitution, and within that constitution, they said no white people can own any land in Haiti and nobody can um, have a position of high status bossing over people in Haiti. That was in their constitution. And uh, We know that constitutions are magical documents. We better wake up to this magic. I know I went, woke up to mine and I woke up to theirs too because mother revealed it. You know that relic that they have over there called the Declaration of Independence? Probably have the have the highest security for such relics in the world. They protect that magical document. Yeah. So Haiti had one too. Haiti had a magical document. You know. It was magical too. And then I believe it was Theodore Roosevelt that went over there, I think in the 1930s or something, and put their magical document in dormancy and created a whole nother document to rule over the Haitians and rule over that land. You know, throughout this video, you know, the mo uh, first of all, the Most High, the Most High is hearing every word that is coming out of my mouth before I even post it. And he's listening through these videos because he's seeing our cases. He's he's seeing our point of view because we're mirroring what's happening in the 5D in these judgments. The Most High had it all in the plan that it had to be a group of us, a group of us that discovered the most holy place on this earth, the courts of the Most High, which I believe is true Zion. I've never seen such magic anywhere else powerful magic where he marked this earth for judgment so he gave gave us an invitation and mother led us there and told us what to do we have been doing it but throughout these videos the most high is paying attention he's listening to us listening to our cases he's listening to you you know as you're watching it he's listening to me as i'm speaking and so from time to time during this video we're going to put some of our work in, okay? 
And so in this particular case, we're going to do our magic. And that is taking our purified energy to the ears of the Most High with our words. Yeah. And we're asking him that dormant declaration of Haiti. We're asking the Most High to pull it out of dormancy. Yahweh, we ask you to empower the document again, bring it back to life. And we ask that you back the Declaration of Independence of Haiti with your kingdom, the kingdom of love and light. With y'all, we ask you to back up that document. Abracadabra. And the document that was put in place by that U.S. President Roosevelt, we ask you to destroy the magic behind that document, Abracadabra. If you're in agreement with me and you want to join your energy, I ask you that you please put sevens and Abracadabra uh, in the live chat or in the comment section. This is very, very important. Everything we do is going into the ethers. And this is your way of putting your voice into the ethers. In agreement with me. Yeah. So, I work very, very hard. You know, it's not that hard to put these things in the comment section. So, I ask you to participate in this. It's vitally important. Your energy is so important. And you don't want to miss out. Because what we're doing here at Star Siege United... I'm telling y'all, when we cross over, we're going to be recognized and we're going to get some badges. Just because the mission have been so strange and magical and unfamiliar to us. And we took action anyway. All praises to the Most High. Battling against the enemy and taking this dimension back for the kingdom. And Haiti is the last stronghold that the colonizers have been attempting to take away from the Haitians just like they took Gaza but they can't do it why because we have the tribe of Levi over there shout out to the tribe of Levi shout out to you Levites yes so and oh, and I want to say this too. I'm proud to say that some of my roots come up out of Haiti. Of course, um, they came from the motherland and then they went into Haiti. I believe it was my great, yeah, my great grandmother was from Haiti. And so, um, Haiti's the long stronghold that the colonizers, even though they have attacked and attacked and attacked, over centuries, over centuries, yet they have not been able to just go in there and wipe everybody out, bulldoze the land and take that beautiful island. They just can't do it. Why? Because the Levites are over there. Okay, so these are historical documents. We This is the time of the Great Reset. It's, it's already in motion. The Great Reset is in motion. Okay, so now the colonizers, they have been pulling the same stunts over and over and over again. And they have taken all of our lands away. And then they take, if they don't take the land because they just don't want to live there, they take all the resources. They keep the people in poverty. And then this is what they do. They'll get, they'll recruit the worst of our people. I mean, the low vibers, the two thirds. They recruit them sometime from prisons. Murderers, rapists, robbers, you know, people like that. Violent people. And then they put guns in their hands. And they tell them who to attack. Who do they tell them to attack? Their own brothers and sisters, mothers, aunties, uncles, cousins, friends, their own people. And because they're on such a low vibration, because the colonizers keep them in poverty, 
they'll sell out for their 30 pieces of silver and they're ca they'll carry out the deed. And they put those weapons in their hands after they feel so powerless. And now they have the ability and the means to kill people and get away with it. And those demons make sure that they feel exhilarated. I'm talking about those kind of low vibrant two-thirds. You know, the colonizers have been using this trick over and over and over again, and it's worked. Yeah, because this is how they, this is the psychology of it. Um, if they can get people to fear being terrorized, or if the person is being terrorized, they will allow them to do anything to protect them. And that's what the colonizers have, have used. So once, once the people are being terrorized and in fear and powerless and they don't have any weapons, and, and they're letting these these evil, wicked ones get away with whatever. They're giving them the order to do it. And they want to say, oh, we'll come in and rescue you. We'll send in some troops and we'll, we'll bring everything back to order. All of this chaos. That's been the strategy. Order out of chaos. And then they start putting, putting their military bases in they'll start writing laws and then they'll take the land away legally but they have not been able to do that to Haiti because the Levites are there yeah yeah so those low vipers uh, y'all are in big, big trouble. One of the secrets of Haiti is that it's highly populated with mermaids around its coast. And uh, they have the ability to sustain human life uh, in, 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 in their world that's underneath our feet. We know their God and he is real. Poseidon, some call him Domo. And he's on the side of the children of the Most High God of Israel. Who they must obey. And he's over there in Zion too. At least he was in a portal. He's active in these judgments too. And the Most High Father hears our request. And you low vibers are in trouble. Because you have joined yourself. To the devil, to the evil one, and his wicked seed, and you carried out the evil deeds for your 30 pieces of silver, and you are going to pay. Yeah. So, since we're over here in the courts of the Most High, you know, to show that there are gods in our kingdom, uh, yes, these gods are included in the backing of that document as well. You low vibers that cooperated with the colonizers and terrorize your people and rape and rob and, ra and, and murder and harm and terrorize the people, you will be terrorized by the mermaids. Abracadabra, Father, we ask you to honor our prayers. We ask you to give the okay to Poseidon over the mermaids, to give them orders. And this is what we're asking you, Father. We're asking you to command that they release all of the people that they have in captivity in that dimension underneath Haiti, where they enslave people. We ask that you command them 
to release all of the star seed that they have enslaved in that dimension to release them back to the surface out of that dimension and let them be free without harm. And anyone else down there of a high vibration, children, when they took them in their innocence, we ask you to give the command, Father, that they release them. And Father, we ask also that you command that they never touch another star seed or a high vibrational person or a child. Abracadabra. Father, our brothers over there in Haiti, your Levitical priesthood, Father, they are facing opposition from the low vibers that have harmed their own, their own people for 30 pieces of silver. We ask you to allow the mermaids to capture them and take them down into that dimension. Let this be their punishment for being traitors. Abracadabra. Star Siege United, let's go to a little commercial break. I know this is getting very deep. I know that it's very, very, very strange message. So let's just go to a little commercial break, okay? On this commercial break, I saved this receipt too. This was one of the receipts that I saved now. I've been telling y'all we locked into this dimension. We got the dome over us, but we, it's also a super, super Atlantean security system keeping everybody out of inner earth okay now i'm bringing this receipt up during this commercial break because i'm gonna show you where they've been bullshitting people the whole time yeah but first i would like to give a special shout out to yvonne kane thank you so much sister for your gift of love may the most high bless you 100 fold for whatever your heart's desire, abracadabra. Yes, and I just want to send out my love and light to all of my stars, seed sisters, and bro stars of the Star Seed United and Star Seed Worldwide to all of my Hebrew Israelite family and to all of our friends and allies. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Thank you for coming. Thank you for spending your time and putting your energy into this great fight. I salute you, Star Siege United. Allies and friends, I salute you. Yes, we are more than conquerors. Walk-on is at stake. Now, this report comes not from Hollywood. It comes from reputable scientists at Beijing University that analyze echoes. When an earthquake takes place, shock waves go reverberating around the inside of the earth. And by analyzing these echoes with computers, you can recreate a model of the inside of the earth. This is all elaborate bullshit, y'all. And the Most High is going to make him tell the truth. And sure enough, the core seems to be about to spin backwards. Okay, but I read that this happens every 70 years, so we don't need to be alarmed. That's right. The bad news is that we know very little about the core of the earth, very little about what's underneath our feet. The good right, the bad news is that we know very little about the core of the earth, very little about what's underneath our feet. The good I told you, they make up stories to try to explain things that they just do not know. They do not know what's underneath our feet because it is a security system keeping their asses out. I hope you guys enjoyed this commercial break. Yeah, where the scientists are exposed. Yeah, they give you... See how he gave that big old grand story of how they created a contraption? And they create contraptions to try to prove their point. But they just don't really, really know the secrets of the Most High. There are worlds beneath our feet, just like underneath Haiti.
where those rebellious two-thirds are going to be, a lot of them, abracadabra. The most powerful man in Haiti is far from a politician. The gang leader known as Barbecue. Another trick of the colonizers. To make the bad guys the good guys and the good guys the bad guys and to label people. Just like Hamas. They labeled them terrorists. But our brothers over there, you know, our brother Barbecue, because he's melanated, they labeled him a gang leader. A gang leader, y'all. You get that? They call Hamas terrorists, but they call barbecue a gang leader, a gang banger. Here's a gang leader. They want everybody, all the colonizers in the world, to look at barbecue as a gang leader when he's really a freedom fighter. I can guarantee you right now that barbecue has not been attacking his own people, not the innocent ones. He might have been. Uh, going after those two-thirds. But anyway, this is a tactic of the colonizer. They put a label on him. If you look up um, if, if you look up what's going on in Haiti regarding barbecue, you see over and over and over again on all the mainstream media, they call our brother a gang leader. He's a gang banger. That's what they're trying to put out there. So all the racists, all the racists, will despise barbecue. Has been promising a civil war that would topple the government. It is a whole system that we want to destroy. And that system being the system of the colonizers that want to come over there and steal the land. The colonizers that come to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what our brother's fighting over there. But they should, this is what they're doing. This is the trick of what they're doing. The deception, the propaganda. They label him a gangbanger. And now the two-thirds that they have recruited, the ones that we, we are asking the Most High to give the order of the mermaids to capture, they are the ones that's hurting the people. Because of the oppressive system, that's how they buy them out so cheap with the 30 pieces of silver. And they're labeling barbecue as a gangbanger, putting him under the umbrella with those little terrorists that they recruited. They're putting them in the same bag and saying the leader is pulling off all of this violence against their people. When all the time he's a freedom fighter, fighting for the freedom of Haiti. Propaganda. It's not working, though. It's not working. We're not going to lie here. We're not in a peaceful revolution. We're making a bloody revolution in the country. And if it has to be that way, it will be. And Barbecue will be very successful. He will be very successful. Yahweh, we ask that you give Barbecue the backing that he needs to totally conquer all colonizers that are in the land and all colonizers that would approach the land to try to take it away, those colonizers. We ask you to empower Barbecue. And Mother, we ask you to give him wisdoms and strategies to fight this war and to win it and let their flag always fly over Haiti. It represents their liberation and their freedom from the colonizers, Father. They're the last stand. You're a priest over there in Haiti. If you stand with our brother Levites over there in Haiti, put a V in the comment section for victory, abracadabra. <laughs> Signs of that bloody revolution have emerged in the past two weeks. The gangs have burned down police stations, shut down. They burned down a police station and other municipal 
buildings and structures around Haiti that the colonizers has been benefiting from. This is typical of a revolution. We recognize that. And they have the nerve in mainstream media to label our brother a gang leader, a gang banger. When Anthony Blinken is there, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He was the face of the genocide here in the United States of America. He supported the violence in Gaza. He supported the genocide in Gaza. And now he's over there in Haiti. Under the false precinct tenses, he's not there. He won't even go there. He won't even go there. See how these colonizers are? See the cowards? He went to Jamaica to, to, to uh, bring order because that's what they do. They call it order out of chaos. They created the chaos. The true gangbangers, the true terrorists are those sitting in the White House. Anthony Blinken, a Yale graduate, from the synagogue of Satan. Star Siege United, I ask you for a verdict of who is the real gang leader. Is it Anthony Blinken or is it Barbecue? Who is the one that's fighting for peace and liberation to bring order, true righteous order back to Haiti? Is it Barbecue or is it Anthony Blinken? And then we have the Canadian Nazi colonizers over there that have that they produce baseballs in Haiti. Same thing, slave wages keeping the people in poverty. And not only that, they they sick the two thirds on them, so they're being terrorized as well. They're living in poverty, you know. So basically, those Levites over there are sick and tired of it. They're sick and tired of it, so they're like, well, if you're going to come over here and take all of our land and do a genocide, we might as well fight the fuck back. And that's why they're burning down all of those structures over there in a revolution. But they want to say the gang violence. <laughs> because they're trying to get energy from the races. They want them to look at the revolution, like it's a bunch of gangbangers going crazy over there in Haiti. They need to be controlled. They need to put in, be put in order. Look at all those poor people being terrorized by their own people. Black on black crime. And it's not that at all. <sighs> That's propaganda. And their propaganda machine is failing them big time. Because when you read the comments... Like when they did the the um, interview with Barbecue, start reading those comments and you will see where people are not buying the propaganda. They're saying the colonizers need to get out in so many words. They need to leave those people alone. They just came to take the land away from them. You know, they're going against the propaganda. They're not biting. So they can't get that energy, not even from white people. They can't get the energy. So they are going to lose this war. They've been in many battles in Haiti fighting for their freedom. And this is the end game. They're about to win that war. Abracadabra. After thousands of inmates were broken out of prison. A... Okay, I'm going to roll this back from the beginning and I want you to notice who's there. After thousands of inmates were broken. They didn't even keep that picture up a second. They just had a flash of it. Now, this guy to me, he looks like barbecue. I don't know if it's barbecue or not. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what I do believe, okay? There was a posting on Abdullah Sears community post uh, yesterday. He took it down, and, and I can understand why. Now, this posting was 
about the prison break. And the guy said that he did research and he found out that there was a bunch of holy men, a bunch of Levites that they broke out of prison. And actually, I believe him. He didn't reveal his sources or say where he got his information from. But I believe him. I believe those freedom fighters went over there to that prison and broke out a bunch of holy men that they had in captivity. You know, they're going to do the worst they're going to do the worst to the holy man. And, and I believe it. Now, if this is the case, it's a done deal. It is a done, done, done deal. The colonizers can't deal with the magic from the 5D, from the 12 tribes of Israel in these days of judgment at the Great Reset. And if it's 4,000 holy men that just got released from prison, I can't just imagine what they're doing right now. The colonizers are not coming against a typical enemy in this case. After thousands of inmates were broken out of prison, a state of emergency has been declared in Haiti. Okay, so in my opinion... And what I believe is that these are holy men that were broken out of the prison to help the fight, the fight for freedom. I do not believe that it was gangbangers that broke them out. I believe that those were freedom fighters that broke out those holy men to go into battle. This is all magical. This is all magical. So they called in a state of emergency. That's when they, what they do when they create this chaos. That's their first step is they declare a state of emergency so they, they can call in their troops. And since they're labeling the freedom fighters gangbangers like they labeled Hamas terrorists, we know who their troops are going to target. We just know that that's what they plan on doing, but now they're coming against a different kind of force. Okay, so they got the music going. So this is their prime minister, Henri. Yeah, it's many of them like him. Now, the people are in an uproar. The people are starting a revolution. And what does he do? He's calling on the UN. Colonizers to come in and put things in order. He's a traitor. And so I believe he went to Nigeria and nobody's seen him. He's hiding out somewhere. You know, they have many, many puppets in blackface. They're two-thirds, too. They had him over there in uh, Burkina Faso, in Niger, in Mali. They had them over there, too, and you see what happened. And so now he's scared. He left the country and honey, he didn't come back and nobody's seen him. These kind are no different from those little terrorists over there. Those little rebel two-thirds that's terrorizing the people. He's no different from them. He sold his soul for 30 pieces of silver and betrayed his own people. And the Most High are taking all of them out of these power seats, like this Prime Minister. And it happened in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger. Yeah. And it was a junta, some brave valiants, just like barbecue, that took them off of their thrones because they were serving the colonizers. And the only ones that benefit are the ones that serve the colonizers. In these situations. Asked again for support of a United Nations backed security force. Now he's calling on the colonizers. Help! 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 <laughs> okay, so we cannot talk about Haiti without talking about voodoo. And I know nothing about voodoo, and I'm not promoting voodoo. Yeah, I do know that the colonizers do label our magic and then they put a narrative behind it. And well, The little bit that I know about voodoo is that they're very, very um, connected to Gaia, to Mother Earth. 
And they use the herbs for the healing of the nation to heal the nation. Yeah. And I also know that they have um, herbs that would take somebody out. <laughs> and they have magic that could take somebody out. Yeah. So you do have uh, people that practice these things that are evil. Yeah, you have some or you just have some very angry people like in the slave rebellions they use voodoo on those people and would take them out too they always been afraid of our magic that's why they had the salem witch hunts that was us we were after when they were trying when they forced christianity on us to remove us from our magic yeah and now in haiti they want to label all of the magic going on over there as being voodoo and then they want to give the narrative that all voodoo is evil. And they put it all under the umbrella of voodoo. Okay, so what I see is that it's a lot of magic and a lot of people that are connected to the magic in Haiti. Because they're from the tribe of Levi. And they were the magical ones. They're the magical ones. They're the magicians of the 12 tribes. So these colonizers are in big trouble right now. This is the end game. They're not going to get that flag that they want so bad. I have a message for you spies listening in. You need to go tell the Pentagon and Anthony Blinken and all of the synagogue of Satan that starts all of these wars and this chaos that they are going to lose. That every action that they take against the Haitians or the Levites is going to backfire on them immediately. And any forces that they send in there, I'm asking the Most High God of Israel right now to put a spirit of confusion on any forces that are come against the freedom fighters. Like you did, Father, in the book. When we went to war, you confused the enemy. We asked for that same magic over any forces that come against the Haitians. Such a confusion that they kill each other all the way up. Abracadabra. Now you spies out there know when we go to the courts of the Most High, the Most High honors our words and he honors our, our witness against you. And then he commands the universe to react. So you need to go tell them to back the hell off. That they're doing the right thing by evacuating their embassies and telling people not to travel over there. All of you colonizers need to leave out. Yeah, that's what you need to tell them. I'm telling you. You're going to face swift judgment. Quickly. With the, with the vengeance from the Most High God of Israel in his mighty host, Abracadabra. So that's what I have for you. Star Siege United, allies and friends, again, I love you guys. And I salute you all for joining in the fight. And all praises to the Most High that we were able to take Haiti and our Levite, our Levitical priesthood, we could go to the courts of the Most High on their behalf. They will win. All praises to the Most High. And it's been a privilege and an honor. And I salute you all for joining in the fight. If you are new to my station and you resonate, feel free to subscribe and join in the fight. Friends and allies are welcome too. Yeah. All praises to the Most High. So I'm going to end it there, you guys. All praises. I feel so good about this mission. I feel so good about this mission. All praises to the Most High. Give the Most High praise and glory. Adore your mother. And pledge your allegiance to our big brother, Messiah, King of God. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? Star Seed United forever. Star Seed for life. Yes. Hallelujah. 
Thank you so much for your kind support of this station. Yes, all your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your heart desire. Abacadabra. Okay, until the next Judgment News, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.